Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a 2x2 triple piston lift. Now, I actually built this thing on my channel a very, very long time ago. I'd say about two and a half years ago. It's about the time I started up on my channel, and I'm extremely happy to bring this thing back, guys. This thing is only one-fourth the size of my old one. If you want to check out the old one, I'll have a link to it in the description below. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work anymore, but you'll see the difference on how big they are in comparison thanks to the new slime blocks. But let's go ahead and see what this thing does. So if I get right here on this little 2x2 platform and click this button i will be triple piston lifted down into the ground into my secret base and of course you can do whatever you'd like here now we do have to use a movable objects thanks to the slime blocks however the furnaces look really good here if you have like a secret base down here or something like that this looks really good so then when we're ready to leave all we do is come back onto our lift click this button right here and we will be triple piston lifted up into our well whatever you have here and then you can go on your merry little way so let's go ahead and look at the redstone from the outside as you can see this thing is not that big at all and the cool thing about this thing too is it lets me know that my triple piston lift still works in the new update in the new title update my triple piston lift works absolutely fine so when i click this button right here we get triple pisted down it retracts back down into the ground and then when i click the button again it extends all the way back up so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys all right guys so for this build you're going to need a seven by five spacing and you're also going to have to dig down eight now the resources you're going to need for this build are five sticky pistons one regular piston eight redstone repeaters three redstone torches one block of redstone nine redstone dust two buttons we're also going to need four slime blocks eight immovable objects one piece of sand and then of course we're just going to need blocks to put our stuff down on all right guys so once you have gathered all of your resources and you have gotten your seven by five spacing and you've dug down your eight come to the bottom left hand corner and we're going to count over five blocks one two three four five and then count up three blocks one two three and then we're going to place three sticky pistons facing upwards right here next up we're going to take out our slime blocks and place all four of our slime blocks one here one here one here and one here just like that next up we're going to take out our blocks of choice for our slime blocks i'm going to be using smooth sandstone as my top flooring so i'm going to go ahead and place down my smooth sandstone right above my slime blocks now let's go ahead and start doing some redstone so right off the bottom sticky piston right here we're going to place down a block put a piece of redstone dust next to that block and then place another block to the left hand side of this redstone then going into this second sticky piston right here we're going to place a repeater on two ticks delay place a block right behind your two tick delay repeater and then place another repeater going into this block on one tick delay next up we're going to swing to the other side and we're going to place a redstone torch right off the back of this block that has our two tick delay repeater then coming out of this redstone torch we're going to place a repeater on four ticks delay put a block in front of your four tick delay repeater with some redstone on top of it next up place a block right above your redstone torch with another torch coming to the side now that will create a mono stable circuit next up place a block in front of this redstone like this with another torch on top of it then coming off both sides of the torch one block here and one block here we're going to place two pieces of redstone dust then we're going to come out from this piece of redstone right here three blocks one two three and then place three repeaters going this way one set to four ticks another one set to four ticks and then the last one's going to be set to two ticks then in front of the two tick delay repeater place down a block with a piece of redstone on top of it next up we're going to swing right back over here to this off torch and place a block right above your off torch and then we're going to place a repeater coming out of this block going this way on three ticks delay then in front of your three tick delay repeater place in another block like so next up we're going to swing all the way back here to the front hand side once again and then on top of this block that is right above this redstone down here we're going to place another redstone torch place a block above your redstone torch and actually you know what place a block of choice here you will be able to see this block so go ahead and just place a block of choice here so i'm going to be using smooth sandstone as my flooring for when i come down as well and then off the side of this block we're going to place another redstone torch this will make the sticky piston extend up don't worry about that and then right above this off torch we have to place down an immovable object i'm going to be using a furnace you can use whatever you'd like but the furnace is the easiest thing to get your hands on now we're going to go ahead and just test it out to make sure everything works so if we place a lever right here off this block or this block and we flip it down everything should extend up so go ahead and flip down your lever so boop as you can see our triple piston extended all the way to the top and then when we flip it back up everything should retract back down beautiful so we'll do it one more time flip down your lever everything should extend up fine and then when we flip it back up 
everything should retract back into the ground. So now all we have to do is add in our input, a few more blocks to the bottom, and we will be completely done. So go ahead and remove your lever, and let's get started on our input. So to get things started off with your input, what you want to do is come right back over here to where we had our lever, place down a block, and put a repeater going into this block on two ticks delay. Next up, just come back to the bottom left-hand corner, and we're going to count over three blocks. So one, two, three, and place a block right here. And then we're going to face a sticky piston going towards this two tick delay repeater like this, and put a redstone block in front of it. Next up, swing behind our sticky piston and place down a block with another block going towards this piston right here. So we're going to put a block here and a block down just like this and place in two pieces of redstone dust. Then we're going to come right behind the block that has our redstone on top of it, place down another block and put another repeater going into this block on one tick delay. Then behind the block that has the repeater on it, we're going to place a regular piston facing upwards. So take out your normal piston and face it upwards like this, and then go ahead and put your sand block on top of it. This will create another monostable circuit that will let go of this block, thus turning on everything. Then right behind the piston that has our sand block on it, we're going to place down another block with a piece of redstone on top of it. So make sure your lift is retracted right now. As you can see, my lift is completely retracted. We're going to come right up here, and we're going to be putting a piston in this corner facing downwards flush with your floor. It should be flush with this floor. So go ahead and take out a sticky piston and then face it downwards so it is flush in this corner with your lift. As you can see, I walk right on top of it. Then we're going to come right underneath it and place down a redstone block underneath it. Then come back up here and take out a block of choice. You will be able to see this block and you will also need your buttons. So place a block of choice right on top of this piston with a button coming off the side of it. So if I click this button right here, so click the button, as you can see, the lift should go all the way up. It should extend all the way up. And then if I click the button again, it should retract all the way down thanks to our input. Then what we're going to do is place a piece of redstone on top of this block. And then another block of choice above that and put another button up here so we have a two button system so if i click this button the lift comes up i can get on my lift click the button again and i'll get retracted back down into my little secret base or whatever you're gonna have down here and then when i'm ready to leave my base all i have to do is click the button once again and i will get extended up and then i can go on my merry little way you know actually i'm going to change out these blocks just so we could see the lift i'm just going to change it to quartz really quickly and there we have it so now what i want you to do is just click your button once again and make sure it is retracted into the floor and we're going to take out our removable objects once again and place the movable objects around the entire lift so place one here place two right here as well and then we're going to place two on this side as well one here one here and then another two here one here and one here and actually when you come down into the base i think this furnace system looks really nice so it actually matches pretty well then what we're going to do is come underneath our lift now we'll actually go ahead and press your button and make sure your lift is all the way up so just make sure the lift's all the way up and we're going to place blocks underneath our slime block so we can't see all that redstone under there and it looks really gross so we're just going to place blocks all around underneath our slime blocks like this so it looks nice when it's up. The only place you could see through the redstone is right here. So if you want to put some blocks around here so you can't see down there, you can absolutely do that. But I think it looks the best like this. So we're going to just click our button. As you can see, everything should get retracted back down. And then if I click the button again, everything should extend up. And that is it, guys. You are completely done. Now you can do whatever you want down here. So you can dig out this entire area, make a whole entire base down here if you would like. And what I normally like to do as well is take out some slabs. Let me go ahead and take out some slabs. And I like to put slabs on the corner so you don't have to like jump up there to get onto the lift. All you have to do is just walk up the slabs like this to get onto your lift. But you can go ahead and dig out, do whatever you like down here. It is completely up to you. So I'm just going to dig out just a tiny bit more like that. And then when you're also done up here, all you have to do is fill in this area make sure you don't fill it over the lift if your lift is down right now so we're going to go around this entire area and fill in the rest of our flooring and we're going to fill in over here as well so we can't see anything down there because that would look really bad and there you guys have it so click the button the lift comes up and then click the button again our lift retracts so we can come down here into our little base you can do whatever you like down here anything it's completely up to you and then just click the button again and we will be lifted back up to the top area but there you guys have it that is how you build a 2x2 triple piston lift if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace